Disclaimer, I do not own the clips or music shown. These are used for review and entertainment purposes. Thank you. Camden on channel Camden. So let's talk about a movie about cars that are alive. No, we're talking about its cousins. Cars, and, and, and if you're under the age of 20 and you have not seen this movie, and, and you're not at least heard about the plot of this movie, and, and you're living under a rock, I, I don't really need to explain the plot of. is a animated movie that was released in 2006 by Walt Disney and Pixar. But this is pretty much the first time I'm reviewing a Pixar movie. And it follows Lightning McQueen, played by Owen Wilson. So prepare for a lot of Owen Wilson impressions in this video. And this movie became an instant classic. And it, it, like I said, it's very iconic, and, and if, like I said, if you're under the age of 20, if, you would at least know about this movie's exist. And the general audience thought it was a, a pretty good movie. The people typically don't have it as their favorite, you know, above others like Toy Story or Up. But p people still like this movie, and it, and it has sequels too that I that I might mention again later on. People, what I think of it, let's jump right in, shall we? About uh, the movie's iconography. This movie was also was my childhood talks. Welcome back to childhood talks, where I talk about things from my childhood. Um, I was born the same year as the first Cars, movie, and I, I had a Light and McQueen toy. And it was there was like a place set where you could you could take Light McQueen under something and you could like pour ice or water and then his color changes and um I remember my dad took me to see Cars 2 and and the Cars 3 trailer which looked like Light McQueen was gonna die though he he didn't but there was like some spinoffs nobody watched that's boy the only way you can truly review cars is to go back in time in the era where this movie existed where, where it came out now I equipped you with a time wrist gosh an actual time watch and not a pipe cleaner Serious, this is an actual time watch I'm not acting Boy, you gotta go back in time to old YouTube to show the young internet the the true semantic masterpiece that is Cars 2006. All right, I'm about to go back in time. Do, 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 wee. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Early the late 2000s, specifically. The early days of YouTube. No specified year. SHUT UP! This seems like the place. Early YouTube. Man, it's different. So, the movie begins with our hero, Light McQueen. Played by Owen Wow Wilson. And he gives some some self encouragement before he goes out into the ring. <laughs> we see 
this flaw as a character is that he's arrogant and he lets fame get into his head. And they're preparing for a race for the Piston Cup. And Light McQueen dreams of being the new face of a company called Dynaco. And he also has to face against his rival that's played by Michael Keaton. The character in red as associates himself with speed and has a lightning bolt on him. And Michael Keaton is also in the movie. And somehow it's still better. Wait, hold on, cuz there's a Flash movie? Oh wait, I forgot what time I meant. Lightning gets on the road with a truck named Mac with Life is a Highway in the background. Wait, did, didn't that Shaq clip come later than the, the 2000? Oh, let me fix it to make it look more 2000s like. A and V's. See, nowadays people would just call it TikTok edits. Someone would probably do an AI cover of the song. And then there was an accident that led to Lightning McQueen going to the small town known as Radiator Springs. And this happened because of his truck, Mac, falling asleep. That's also a deleted scene with Light McQueen being lost that was cut from the final version of the movie. So, let's take a look at it, shall we? Oh, 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 uh, uh, oh, oh, oh my, oh, oh my, oh, okay, uh, uh, hey, hey, oh, oh, um, uh, 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 I can see why this was cut. It <laughs> went through Disney's mind to have a, a whole graveyard of cars just being stabbed through trees and just dead bodies everywhere. It's just like, I know it was deleted, but I just wonder what went through their mind with that. You're making a movie about a race car. And also, that kind of leads to the question. So, with the car's lore and the car's being alive, right? So, let's say you open a door, like you open a car door, right? So, when you open a, a car door, do you like see the car's organs? Like inside them, like do you see, like you you open the door, or or you roll down the window, or or you eat, like like do you do do you look and see like skeletons or uh, like hearts or like just just like like what do you see? A question: Do do they still have doors in this universe in in the cars? Cause I, I just gotta know, or or unless there's people driving the cars inside of them, there's actual humans in the car the whole time. They just genetically engineered the cars to have eyes and a mouth, and for them to start talking. But really, the voices are the humans in the cars. Like it could be Owen Wilson. In like McQueen, like it could be human Owen Wilson in there, and he's all like, "Wow, man, look at me! I'm in the car! Wow, wow, wow! Look at that! I'm I'm like McQueen looking here! I'm I'm stuck in here for eternity." This could be our future. What if humans, the entire human race, was cursed with being stuck in cars, and the only way we could communicate and the only way we could live was to be in a car and move around as cars forever and if we we try to break that we'll die matter of fact let me see if I can I can get Disney to answer these these serious questions right now I really need to learn about these these questions these are genuine questions I need to learn about I need I need to know about and when you meet another iconic character from these movies Mater played by Larry the Cable Guy 
And you see, he has to talk like this. You know, I, I made her. How you doing there, McQueen? Woohoo! This guy is a secret agent in the second movie, by the way. No, I'm not kidding. This, 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 this guy. And while Lightning was lost, um, he messed up the road really badly. So he has to pay his debt so he could leave and go get the piston cup he so rightfully deserves. So, they become best friends when they start trolling with tractors that are pretty much cows in this universe. Like, is it, so, like, with animals, wait, I, I got another question! If tractors are cows in this universe, so, there'll be animal versions of cars? So, so like in this universe, there'll be car cats and car dogs. So there will be the other car's pets. Because, let's say, like, oh, I'm, a, I own, I, I'm the owner of this cat car. They both cars. So does that count as slavery? You know how you ride horses through the cars? Ride other cars? Tractors. Do you milk the tractors? <laughs> McQueen also falls in love with a light blue car named Sally. And as more and more time Light McQueen spends at Rainier and Shrinks, the more he starts to enjoy the smaller country life of things and not the big celebrity life. And I gotta say, these scenes with him getting used to Radiator Springs aren't that bad. It isn't the most you know, groundbreaking thing ever, but it's really comforting to watch and it makes you feel at home and then you just, you just get engaged while watching a movie without any and centric race scenes. Now, there's still some in this movie. And then, the more time he spends there, the more he finds out that one of the people at Radiator Springs, Doc Hudson, used to be a race car. And he won the Piston Cup before, too. But he, he retired because of something bad happening to him. A completely surprising twist, but. It's a nice one, nonetheless. Zing! He won three piston cups. <laughs> he did what in his cup? <laughs> so then, Lightning and Sally go on a date, and I'm sorry, y'all. I, I have to do this again. I gotta ask another. Qu I gotta ask another. Qu so, when cars have children so when cars get pregnant is there's like a big bump under the car is there just like a big and they can't drive no more unless when they drive instead of using wheels they use the bump to drive across the road having a baby does the baby come out the trunk does the baby come out does the baby come out the door, like I said, and that's when the organs and stuff, I mean. And we get more scenes of him enjoying Radiator Springs. And then he gets a new model that's honestly just there for like one scene. I don't know, I guess they did it for toy sales. I, I, I don't know. Oh no, the helicopters in Mac come. And, and that means Light McQueen gotta go and, 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 and say goodbye to his friends. Oh, oh, oh no. Uh, he totally won't ever, ever, ever see him again. You know, no, not at the end of this movie. I mean, it's not like this movie that has two more sequels and a, a Disney Plus show. No, 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 no. Hey, me and Jordan. It's the day of the big race. 
Hold on one second. Light McQueen's friends are there too. Wow. And then they give him some encouraging words. And then Light McQueen learns the value of friendship and in, 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 in sportsmanship. Proud, kid. Congrats on the loss, me bucko. You got a lot of stuff, kid. Then the race gets over. Mike McQueen turns down the offer to be the, the new head of that Jonico company. And he stays with his friends at Radiator Springs. He ends with the cars watching car versions of other Pixar movies, including Bugs Life, Toy Story, and Monsters Inc. Wait, this is a. This is a movie review from the late 2000s. Twilight Bad, Dark Knight Good. Cars 1 is a good movie. Nostalgia aside, it's, it's actually a, a pretty good movie. It's not the best animated movie of all time, but it's a pretty neat movie. You, you like some of the characters, Light McQueen is, is kind of cool, so he can seem like a jerk sometimes. And uh, it has some funny jokes in it, like uh, some, some of them don't hit, but most of them do. And it kind of does have a good message about true sportsmanship, and it's not always about winning, and seeing the other side of certain things instead of just seeing things the perfect way and the look of the movie is nice I mean I can see why kids like me was really really in in into this this movie when we were little but overall it's not groundbreaking but it's a nice fun little movie eight donuts But I recommend it. Literally everyone's seen this movie, so I, I don't know. I mean, like, what's the point if you're, like, four years old? Then, yeah, it's a four-year-old going watching a movie review. <laughs> it's a good movie. It's a good movie, and I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to watch it again someday. I mean, it's a classic. I mean, everyone has watched it at least a good few times. Now, hope you guys like, comment, not a mean comment, subscribe, and I'm about to go dissect living cars. This site, that guy with the jacket, it has a, a lot of, a lot of internet critics on there, like a lot of them. We do a lot of crossovers and stuff. It, it, it's, it's a great site, truly. How they pitched on there too. He did what in his cup?